everything mankind does these days, our phones, our refrigerators, our cars, it all has electronics in it, generates radio frequency noise, and it's often doing that in the same frequency bands that we want to be looking at the universe in. And so we have to get away from people. We have to get away as far as we can from anything that's man-made. We have to be able to observe where there's nothing electrical, basically. We've got a, nearly 100 terabits of data a second. That is about the same as the entire internet bandwidth around the world in around the mid June 2015. That's when the worldwide internet went through that 100 terabit per second barrier. So think of all your worst movies, everything that's flowing through the internet every second, the equivalent to that, but in better taste, is going into that building every second. My ancestors, Aboriginal people, been been on this land for forty odd thousand years. We always know after the rain, good good rain, there's um bush tucker out, so we're out looking for these. So we spot them miles away because you don't see every tree with a vine and this shape of fruit growing on it. My mother showed us, so she always gave it to us. You know, we used to, and when we used to go bush, we used to always be looking for it. So. We learn from our elders, so they show us what to look for and when to look for it. So the Earth is only around 4.7 billion years old, and then just north of here in the World Ranges, we have rocks that are over 4 billion years old. So this area of, of the world, in fact, is some of the oldest rocks ever discovered. And you, you really get a sense of that, I think, when you're in the landscape out here. I was told by an elder um, Jeffrey Mungu, that um, out on that site out there, um, we actually had a Yamaji god, and and I asked him, and his name was Bijul. He said his name was Bijul, the Yamaji god, and I asked him where he was from, and he goes out there where the antennas are. And I thought, wow. Well, I'm not sure about anybody else, but I'm I'm quite excited and proud that you know we've got the leading scientific organisation in the world, CSIRO, on, it, on our country. I feel very excited and, and always that interest in, in astronomy. So. We're using the newest things, these telescopes, to look back at some incredibly old parts of the universe, some of which will be about the same age as the rocks are over there, and we're using these new telescopes to look at them.